All right, guys, tutorial number 31. Actually, let me note this down on my little cheat sheet I have here. I actually started writing down what number tutorial I'm working on because my tiny little brain can't handle, you know, what number tutorial. I can't remember that much information. So I have to write it down on a little freaking post-it note. So anyways, what we want to do now is we want to build the function. Basically, what's going to happen or what's going to be called whenever state changes. Now, we already told our program that we're going to build a function called handle state change. So I'll just leave a comment when state changes function handle state change. Now it doesn't take any additional information but what we do want to do is we want to go ahead and first make sure that our server is communicating with our client properly. So in order to do that we just check a couple uh, states and statuses XML HTTP if this ready state is equal to 4 and also not only that but if just copy this little sucker right here but if the status is equal to 200 then that means that you are freaking good to go things are running smooth and my server is set up uh, and hopefully it's on right now and it didn't have to reboot or anything what did I say? Reboot, -a, reboot, or anything. So hopefully this code in here is what's going to happen. Now, even though we have we check the ready state and also the status, and if we meet these two conditionals, then it should mean everything is working properly. We also, in addition to that, we want to put this in a try catch statement because even though everything may be communicating properly you still want your code to run effectively so handle response so this function right here is basically gonna handle the response now remember whenever I made my XML file that I said alright this entire XML file and pretty much the core of this tutorial is gonna be handling the response and you guys are like alright this program is just gonna you know show your employees on the screen so why wouldn't you just name it you know company or whatever you know whatever something more simple well it's because like I said response that's what we're gonna be doing you finally understand now so try to handle response and by the way this is the last function that we're gonna be creating in this program so you know don't think how many different freaking functions is Bucky gonna make this is the last one handle response so catch Actually, can I just copy? I hate typing this freaking catch. I hope it just, they need to make um, a text editor where you just type catch and it just automatically assumes that, you know, you're too lazy <laughs> to make a true catch statement. So you just want to alert everything out. I'm going to make one. It's going to be called Bucky's Lazy Text Editor where you just type two letters and it just codes the rest of the program for you. And then you can go take a nap or something. But, you know, maybe one day. Actually, I probably won't because I'm too lazy to do that. All right. So now the last thing I want to do is I actually want to check the status. And if we don't get 200, then I just want to uh, make a little alert so we know where we went wrong. So alert XML HTTP status text. So hopefully we don't see this because if we see this alert box right here then that means that the status was not 200 and it means that something was wrong when our local PC communicated with our server. So let me just go ahead and check this handle state change uh, for 200. If everything is good then handle response and this is going to be, <coughs> oh, sorry got black lung working in the mines all day and uh, so that's what we're going to be coding in actually I'll go ahead and save this for the next video because the next video is going to be the last function we're going to wrap everything up in this mini program and this is going to be where I talk about the XML structure so up until this point it was pretty much a little refresher and I tell you guys maybe a couple new things but in the next video we're finally going to be learning something new how to work with XML structures beautifully and this is how we're going to be working with them in all the programs that we develop in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to go work in the mines for a little bit. Hopefully get some coal. And I'll see you guys in the next video.